When I first set foot on Harvard's campus, I realized what an incredible opportunity I, along with my classmates, had been granted. From the very start, on-campus expectations are high. The countless hours of work you commit to, the norm of contributing to the university in multiple capacities, these expectations force you to step out of your comfort zone in hopes of fulfilling the Harvard tradition of excellence. In the classroom and in the community, it was clear to me that those entrusted with teaching and leading at Harvard are not here to fulfill a salary. They are each here to elevate and nurture students. Every faculty member I have crossed has gone above and beyond to support me in overcoming obstacles and attaining my goals and dreams, academic and otherwise. As an athlete, you don't receive special treatment. You are admitted for a reason, that you are capable of managing your time and are willing to make the sacrifices necessary to ensure optimal performance in the classroom as well as on the ice. It's not that Harvard suggests this should be an easy balance. It's the standard of brilliance and exceptional effort in both areas that drive the chosen student athletes to cope and excel in the challenge. The hardest thing I've had to do at Harvard had nothing to do with juggling demands, transitioning to college, exams, papers, or summertime training. That all pales in comparison next to hanging up my jersey for the last time. The moment I removed my jersey after our final game this season, I realized the end of my Harvard chapter was near. I would soon be leaving the institution that gave me the greatest of opportunities while only asking in return that I represent the university to the best of my ability. I am certainly a proud member of the Harvard community to which I am greatly indebted. Arriving at Harvard was far from easy, but it will be much harder to leave.